The age of the quad-engined plane is certainly moving past us. The most recent attempts at such a type of plane have been the Airbus A380 and Boeing 7478, but what if there was a third quad-engined plane that would have rivaled these units? Well, we were at one point close to such a thing with the McDonnell Douglas MD-12. With over 70% of viewers not subscribed, be sure to hit that button to never miss an upload. So, the MD-12. Yes, you may have heard of this development study that never got off the ground, but certainly had a lot of legs behind it. But what is it? Why did it exist briefly? And why didn't we ever see it flying with customers' branding? Let me explore those very questions, but before I begin, the MD-12 never flew, spoilers, and development never truly made it all that far. Thus, there's only a handful of concept images, making it really impossible to fill an 8 minute video, so I hope you won't mind seeing other quad engine planes that did make it, rather than say staring at one image for the entire video. To understand the MD-12 before anything else, let me provide you with an overview. The MD-12 was slated to be a high capacity wide body, focusing on long haul operations with customers. The premise was to be a 430 passenger capacity airliner in a three class configuration. And if say one airline opted for a one class, well then the capacity would be bumped up to 511. It would have a height of 74 feet and a wingspan of 213 feet with a length of 208, while its maximum takeoff weight would be 949,000 pounds. Speed would be around 1,050 kilometers an hour, while its range would sit at 9,200 miles or 14,825 kilometers. Although if an airline actually ever opted to fly the aircraft, it probably wouldn't have made it to this exact maximum range. These specifications are really just a fantastic indication of what had been discussed and really pitched to customers as the MD-12. So now with a very brief understanding of its specifications and intended role, let me now move on to the premise of the aircraft, the background and more. In an age where Boeing was mainly leading the line when it came to quad engine planes and especially for long haul travel periods, other manufacturers utilized the 1990s as a period to study and analyze the direction which would lead them to the same success. Over at Airbus, they were examining the possibilities of an A3XX program, what would eventually go on to be the Airbus A380, as their own response to the long-standing successes enjoyed by the 747. At the same time, at McDonnell Douglas, it was the MD-12. This was pitched to airlines as early into the decade as 1991. However, with incredibly high development costs, concerns around such a variant were brought on, following ways to improve the MD-11, which is a trijet. So while initially maybe the MD-12 could have been a trijet but say larger, the best method to really execute the desires outlined by the plane maker would have been to have four engines and it have it spread across two decks. But with so much promise, what actually happened to the MD-12? Well, the design progressed and it was understood that the jet would be a quad-engined double-decker, which is closer to the current developments that were being seen at Airbus. McDonnell Douglas pitched the MD-12 once more to carriers globally, and despite a heavy push and a pretty large investment already, it really couldn't turn interest into firm orders. So the MD-12 was never going to be an easy feat to produce as well, and also deliver. With no interest, period, there were also going to be the high operating costs and time frame that left many people sceptical, including executives at key airlines that asked for more clarity around a variant. It just wasn't an investment at the time that any company was actually willing to make. New ideas continued to flow throughout the company until it was eventually taken over by Boeing closer to 2000, but still very similar to the MD-12 fate, all of the projects that McDonnell Douglas had essentially lined up or were studying or potentially had initial concepts of just really had the same issues. The costs associated were too large, meaning moving ahead with any of these respective programs just simply wasn't worth it. And while maybe there were good ideas here or there, also with no real interest from carriers, it was not a feasible business decision to move ahead at this point. While there were difficulties in getting the MD-12 truly off the ground and there were a lot of customers that were just not interested, there were some promises and points that meant it may have actually been more favourable than, say, alternative options. 
its smaller wingspan did mean it would fit into gate spaces without airports needing to drastically adjust taxiways and gates to accommodate what would eventually be the A380. You may recall when the world's largest passenger plane entered into service, there was a massive race for airlines hubs and airports where those respective airlines wanted to send the A380 to go through some major works to both their taxiways and also reinforcing gates to make sure that these planes would eventually fit and the airport would be able to accommodate such a high influx of passengers all at the one time. The MD-12 would mean all of this wouldn't need to take place. And there was even a consortium of Taiwanese companies made up by McDonnell Douglas to build such a plane. This didn't happen in the end, but it highlighted that the desires to build a plane were always there. It just didn't really work out. A question that I think many people would have, and when we examine the era, is would the MD-12 have had a similar fate to the A380 had it progressed any further? Excluding the eventual acquisition by Boeing and a lot of hypotheticals say, if McDonnell Douglas stuck to its initial plan, would it have actually been flying before 2000 period and maybe gotten a head start over the A380? Its impact certainly wouldn't have been as high as intended, as even by the 1990s, it would later emerge that there was a general lack of understanding at the likes of Airbus in terms of the direction that airlines were wanting to head with their respective aircraft. The 747 was, yes, still very prominent, and Airbus was studying their own answer to this, and looking well into the future, Future, there were more intriguing studies taking place, and the reality that these studies didn't involve quad-engined double-decker planes, but rather twin engines, was really turning heads. It built upon the successes found with the 767 and the 777, namely being a plane that at that point was enjoying a lot of success coming into the industry only around the same point where the MD-12 and A380 studies were starting to take shape. So, the MD-12, a concept plane that never got into the skies, but not without a lack of trying and many revisions to it. It was in a period where all aircraft manufacturers were very much taking a look at what was next, and if you weren't a plane maker that was Boeing, well, you were looking towards the 747 and the success that the American plane maker enjoyed with that quad engine plane and trying to find ways to replicate it to take away some of the market share that Boeing had accumulated over such a prolonged period. What are your thoughts on the MD-12? Is this a variant that you would have wanted to see flying in some capacity? Or do you believe in the end it was the right decision to not move forward and it just simply wouldn't have fit in the industry? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for your support here on Globetrotting. And I'll say stay tuned for more coverage as there is a lot more analysis to come on the aviation industry. And we'll fly.